my house, my garden, my arts and crafts. It doesn't make me any less of a man. Hey, you want to get together sometime? No. Hell no. Bernie Mac is 100% real man. Yes, sir, Bob, baby. 100% man. Smell the testosterone up in here. Smell it. I can smell it. And I can feel it, too. I can feel gum. Who in the hell put gum on? Somebody to put gum under my chair. I'm going to kill somebody up in here tonight. You watch. Took the liberty. Fine. They all can come. But I'm going to tell you one thing. If one of those kids cough and doesn't cover their mouth, I should have the right to pop them upside the head. Hold on. I didn't say I would do it. I said I should have the right putting these nasty germs on me. <laughs> Oh, go back to my poor car. Look, it says the most improved engine. Is that right? Jordan, two D's and a C. That's awful. Yeah, but it's still the most. It also says the most disruptive. That's still the most. That's not what I meant. Yeah, but that's what you said. You shouldn't have said it if you don't mean it. You're not being the most clear. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Congratulations, Jordan. Now you're gonna get the most punishment. You stand there and be the most quiet. I do. I do. Where goes first? I don't Red care. I'm just gonna sit here and chill. Red goes I don't understand. He's supposed to make them kids tired, kind of slow them down. I guess if the kids from hell, they used to the heat. Okay. Okay. I can't okay. no. take it no more. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. I want you all to play quietly. Uncle Bernie, will you play with us? Sweetheart, it's too hot. I don't want to play. I just want to cool off today. We'll cool you off if you play with us. George. See, I'm giving you a cool breeze. George, 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 George. You want to chase us? Hell no, I'm not going to chase us. Now, George, stop it. Stop it. I want you all to play quiet. Quiet. Y'all see what these kids doing to me? I can't think no more. They make my brain hot. It's like I got a George Foreman grill in my head and I got to drain the grease. If they keep it up, I'm going to lose my mind. And I know they're going to keep it up. You know it too. All right, car seat, backpack, jacket. I think we got everything. No, 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 you don't. You ain't bringing that drippy mess in my car. But I'm not finished. Throw it away. I don't want to. Throw it away. I don't want to. Throw it. Uncle Bernie! Uncle Bernie! Oh, Lord! I'm standing at the end here. I saw the pump right there in here. I chased him and ran through the hall and jumped out the bathroom window. Bernie? Of... Yeah, right here, baby. What's going on? Somebody broke into the house. Oh, my God. Are you OK? I'm, I'm fine, Did baby. he take any of my stuff? I'm fine, thank you, selfish. I'm sorry, officer, about my children. They're just selfish. These kids today ain't worth two dead fly smash. Like I was saying, if I'd have caught him, I'd have kicked his ass. Hey, Bernie, how's it going? Good, Carl, how you doing? How are the kids coming along? Good, Carl. <laughs> Hey, Bernie, yes. I rented your Kings of Comedy the other night. Oh, no kidding. You were, you were really funny. Thank you. A little filthy for my taste, but that's what they're doing now, right? <laughs> it's not for everybody, Carl. Oh, listen, hey, I gotta ask you. You know, Cedric, Cedric the Entertainer? His name's Cedric. He calls himself an entertainer. You're all entertainers. I don't know why he does that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Carl. <laughs> What's that phrase you use? Uh, uh, who's with you now? It's who you with? Who you with? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're sure? Not who? Well, <laughs> I probably found you. I gotta go, Carl. Okay. Hey, Bernie, your alarm's gone off. I hear it. Don't you hear it? Yeah, you better get in there. Maybe a criminal in there. <laughs> no, I hope not. If there is apprehend him, you need help, don't come here. <laughs> OK, Carl. Who's with you? Man, that was a whole lot of fun. Thanks to those crazy-ass kids, I guess. I mean, man, they put me through a lot. But it's good to know you can still have that kind of fun right here in your own home. Now, Mary, don't misunderstand me. They still on punishment. Because when Bernie Mac Tate opened the door, dog order, you open up the door. Hold on one minute. Oh! Jordan! Nassim! Open up the door! Open the door! Man, y'all 
gonna call somebody. Open the door! Wanda! Baby girl! Open the door, go door! Joy! Go call somebody for real. Open the door! I'm about to pop. It's on. Part two. It's on. Open up the door! Baby girl, what's going on? Baby girl, sit down, sit, sit, sit down, sit down. Oh, 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 Baby girl, stop! You busting his head wide open. I told you, no fun. I wasn't having fun. Come on, get on out of there. That's it. That's it. I want you all down on the bed. I want you to sit there and think about what you've done. But it's hot. Heat rises to the top, Jordan. Get out on the floor and stay cool. I thought you said we couldn't get off our beds. Don't start with me. Because the more I sweat, the more it's going to hurt you. Where the kids at? They be on a gif. How many times you call them? Once. Once? You treat them kids like they civilized. Come here. Let me show you how you wake these kids up. Come on. Just follow me. All right, everybody, get up. Y'all know the routine. Let me do messing around. Guess what, y'all? It's showtime. Get Bring me to right here. Get her started. Get everybody up. Right here. Hey, baby, see, this is not hard. You got to treat those kids like they convents. You got to be creative. You got to have a little fun. Come on. Oh, popsicle. You all on punishment. She need to be out your room. But it's hot. OK, I'll tell you hot. Take this. Water flavor popsicle. What? But nothing. It's called punishment, not punishment. Now, go on back to your room. Get hot, swallow your spit. I'll show you something. You see this? This is not a toy. The next time someone tries to break into our home, this may save our lives, provided we use it correctly. The first one in must use the code. And our code will be 138. Let me hear you say it. 138. Thank you. Here's a hint to remind you of a code. It's the first three numbers of our address. That's clever. Thought that myself. Let's move on. The last one out must shut the door and arm the system. How you arm the system, you press B4. As in, before I leave, I must arm the system. If not, police will come, and you'll be arrested as an accomplice. That's right. That means you're going to go to jail. And I will send you to jail. So remember, B4, you got 15 seconds to get out. Let's move on. Now, next is false alarm. If there's a false alarm, the police will call. And you got to give the password. You got to. And the password is going to be Claudine. Because that's my favorite movie. I thought your favorite movie was Cooley High. Yeah, well, Cooley High is my favorite Chicago movie. Car Wash is my favorite L.A. movie. And Claudine is my favorite New York movie, along with Cotton Comes to Harlem. Let's just say that Claudine is my favorite Diane Carroll movie. Who's Diane Carroll? You don't know that? Diane Carroll. Let's move on. Ain't gonna be no phone for the whole month. No video game either. Mm -hmm. Baby girl, you can kiss that dog on Bobby down. Goodbye. Kiss it. Cause they going. Uh, that's enough. Give him here. Here. That's right. Oh, thank you, Lord. Bernie, get out of bed. For what, one? I'm telling you, I ain't in no shape, man. Even though, baby, I've been trying to get up all day. I'm just Brianna's saying, basketball game. I can't play no basketball. I know I'm telling you, but my back hurt and everything, man. I ain't going to be able to do that. But no, I'm you don't have to play. I got WB time. to fill in. I knew you wouldn't be able to. What? You obviously aren't filling up to it. Do you think you're strong enough to go down and watch? Strong enough? Well, after the other night. The other night. Why she gotta bring that up? That's a sensitive subject, America. Now she got WB 
ticket my spot. That's ridiculous. I mean, ludicrous, absurd. I'm still here. I may be a long thing, but I ain't dead yet. And even if it kills me, I'm not gonna be replaced. No, sir. There ain't no substitute for Bernie Mac. She's right. I just need a little help on keeping things straight. I'm not gonna let those little devils kill my brain cells. Oh, no. See, that's where technology come in. Look, check it out. It got a to-do list, an address book, and a section where I can write my little reminder notes, like kill Jordan and kill Vanessa. Tell baby girl her brother and sister ran away. I need to get that down. What I put the little pen thing in? I just had it. Y'all see it? I cannot believe that I had the thing right around here. Oh, oh, oh my knee. Oh, Lord. Oh. Well, your heart is fine. You just had an attack of acute acid reflux. Painful, but far from fatal. Doc, does that like a heartburn? Yes. You see, as we get older, fatty foods, alcohol, overeating can really take a toll. So you said I ended up in the ER because I ate too much? Well, that could be a cause, but sometimes it's just stress. Do you have any new sources of stress in your life? America, you're a democracy. You have all kind of freedom and equality, and that's great. And that works for you, and I respect that. But we got a different system here at the Mac household. It's called dictatorship. And it works like this. See, I am the king, and what I say goes. All the other folks, they're my subjects. I have my queen, Wanda. My lady. Uh, I know how to pick them, no. Uh, I got my princess. Oh. I've got my court jester. What's happening, my man? <laughs> and my royal pain in the eyes. My royal pain in the eyes! Uh, these fries are cold. Zip. Pepper stuff. So it all worked out in the end. It was a rough patch. I said my piece, and now my husband understands my feelings. Look, baby, I'm gonna be straight with you, okay? You're my wife, I love you, and I respect you. And if you wanna have a baby, I'm gonna say, let's just keep it on the table. Now that don't mean yes, it don't mean no, Wanda. All it means is, Let's keep it on the table. Really? Really. Thank you. Now listen, give me a little privacy. I want to talk to America by myself for a little something. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Love well, you. Love you too, baby. Said it first. <laughs> She never leave. Now I can say what I really feel. She must be crazy than a... Brady Mac ain't have no doggone baby, you got it? And y'all better not tell. It's gonna be our little secret, America. Case closed. Well, at least for now, because people change. I ain't never changing. I ain't changing my mind for nothing. Burning 44-year-old running around chasing some doggone baby. Goo goo gog on my ass. Excuse me. Look, y'all know I ain't crazy. Y'all know it, you feel the same way. What I look like sitting up there, get up your time to change in the middle of the doggone night. Man, I'll be...
50, he'd be five. I said, no, I'm gonna swing, pushing somebody. Man, grab my chest, you crazy as heck. <laughs> you have a baby. I'm gonna be George. Get away from me! George, George, stop it, stop it. You're making a mess. George! Did y'all hear what I... Boy, you look at this mess you make. Uh, I'm gonna whoop, I'm gonna whoop his ass. I'm not kidding. John, look at this. I'm gonna whoop his ass. I ain't coming. John! John! He thinks I'm playing. He thinks I am playing around here. I'm not playing. I'm... Boy, I'll tell you. Whoop your ass! Oh. When the heck am I kidding? I couldn't whoop his ass if my life depended on it. I'm too old to be running around after kids. I might really hurt myself. From now on, Bernie Max retired. Now, I got time to catch up on my read. Oldies. I'm trying to do my homework. What? I'm listening to my music. I don't send them to you, Nessa, when you listen to that crap you call music. Yes, you do. Well, it's my house. You want some privacy? Why don't you go to the library or one of your friends' home? No, you have a lot of nerve, man. Talking about you listen to uh, Mary J. Blige, uh, 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 those street boys and all that bull. Get back in there. You don't want no kids in the dungeon. Don't let me get in there. Oh, don't let me get in there. Woo! Same girl. Open the door. Open the door. Come on. I'm gonna choke you in front of the police. You. How long can we keep him out there? Well, we're already in trouble, so we might as well put it off as long as we can. Funny anymore. You're right. It's hilarious. Made them. They just cheering. They think they know something. I'm getting ready to teach them. See my ankle get together. I've been mad all this time. Wanda ain't locked me out. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. You man right next to her. <laughs> There's a little window over the sink. Wanda like to keep it open so you smell the hydrangeas. I'm home free. Sorry, but we don't want to let any of the cold air out. Okay. Might as well raise the stakes now, baby. Because Bernie Mac won't give up. I can take anything they dish out. Anything. It's on now. Get ready to pop. Pop. Ness, come on now. I'm tired. Let me in. Look, I'm Bernie Mac. Boy, take your mess. <laughs> Nessa, get off that phone. Don't read unless I tell you to. I'm gonna kill one of them kids. Nessa, get out of my chair. That's my chair. It's my chair. They think this is some kind of hotel and everything in it is complimentary. Need soap? Try Bernie. It's complimentary. And why not use Bernie's dinner floor? It's provided for your convenience. And last but not least, please feel free to use Bernie's toilet because it's sanitized for your protection. Ain't that? Thanks, Uncle Bernie. What? 
Punishment, man. I spanked the boy on his behind in the store. Who told you that? That's not important, Mr. No, Mack. No, What's no, Mr. Cooter, who told you that? Well, the oldest girl. Vanessa? You can't believe anything she said. She's just a child, Miss Cooley. She also said that you threatened to whoop her like you were her daddy. She she, she dissed me in front of my boys, Miss Cooley. Now, come on, you you just don't do that. Okay. Did you also say you're going to bust her head till the white meat shows? That's they're my boys. Mr. Mack. Come on, look. Mr. Mack, between that and the profanity. I... Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't use no profanity in front of those children. That's a lot. Uh, now, who, who told you? You didn't that? say big ass donut? Who, who told you that? The littlest one. But the point is, I, I mean, I'm here to help, oh, not to hinder. Pictures. You want the kids to live here? I you, you want the, you know kids, I want to the kids to live, live here. here. Cooley, come on now. Neither of us wants a situation. Are you a smoker? Cigars. Every now and then I smoke cigars. But you don't. No, no. I smoke in the den if I do. Only in the den. My wife. In the den. My wife, she don't like it. I swear. Trying to take my babies from me. They take my babies from me, I'm lost. Without that, I'm nothing. Lord, you know I do everything you ask. You can take the kids, but you can't take my babies. Hmm. Y'all got the camera on. Ain't nothing sacred. Cut the camera off. I'm gonna show you who Bernie Mac is. Bernie Mac is 100% real man, baby. Yes, sir, 100%. Can you smell the tartasto? What is it? Testosterone. Test, uh, testosterone. <laughs> Can you smell the testosterone up in here? Smell it. Smell the testosterone up in here. Smell like mendacity. <laughs>